ever wondered what makes you, you, or why your eyes are blue and your best friends are brown? The answer lies in a molecule called DNA. DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid is essentially the blueprint of life. It carries the genetic instructions used in the development, functioning, growth, and reproduction of all known living organisms and many viruses. Intrigued yet? Well, you should be. So buckle up as we dive into the fascinating world of DNA. DNA, short for deoxyribonucleic acid, is the blueprint of life. It's the molecule that holds the instruction for every characteristic, every function, and every process that occurs in our bodies. To truly grasp the magnificence of DNA, let's first take a look at its structure. Picture a twisted ladder or a spiral staircase. That's what we call a double helix, and it's the basic shape of DNA. Now consider each rung of this ladder. Each rung is made of a pair of molecules called nucleotides. A nucleotide is composed of three parts, a sugar molecule, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base. There are four types of these bases, adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. It's the specific sequence of these bases that spells out the genetic code in our DNA. These four nitrogenous bases, adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine, form the steps of the DNA ladder. One of the most intriguing aspects of DNA is base pairing. This comes into play in the structure of the DNA molecule itself. You see, the double helix nature of DNA is like a ladder with the rungs made up of pairs of nitrogenous bases, adenine pairs with thymine and guanine pairs with cytosine. This complementary base pairing is vital for the DNA's function. Now imagine you have a zipper, unzipping it, gives you two separate strands, right? That's precisely what happens during DNA replication. The double helix unzips and each strand serves as a template for a new strand. And here's where base pairing comes in again. As each new base is added to the growing strand, it naturally seeks out its complementary pair on the template. Adenine finds thymine, guanine finds cytosine, and so forth. This replication ensures each new cell receives an identical set of genetic information. Seen script. DNA doesn't work alone in creating life. It requires a process called transcription. It's like this. You can think of DNA as the grand architect of life, with the master blueprints for every living organism. But to bring these plans to life, it needs a builder. This is where RNA, or ribonucleic acid, comes into play. During transcription, a portion of the DNA strand serves as a template for the creation of RNA. This isn't just any RNA though, it's a specific type known as messenger RNA, or mRNA for short. The mRNA is assembled one piece at a time, following the DNA template like a blueprint, until a complete copy is made. But the mRNA isn't just a carbon copy of the DNA. It's a single-stranded molecule, and it contains the base uracil instead of thymine. This is a key difference that allows it to perform its unique role in the cell. Once the mRNA is synthesized, it doesn't just hang around. It gets to work, carrying the genetic code from the DNA in the nucleus to the ribosomes in the cytoplasm. These ribosomes are like the construction workers of the cell, reading the mRNA blueprint and assembling proteins piece by piece. Proteins, as you might know, are the building blocks of life. They form structures, catalyze reactions and perform countless other functions in the cell. This process of transcription and translation is how DNA communicates its genetic instructions. The genetic code is the language of DNA. This remarkable language tells our cells exactly how to make the proteins that enable us to live, grow and function. The code is read in triplets, groups of three bases called codons. Each codon calls for a specific amino acid the building blocks of proteins. With four bases, we can make 64 different codons, which is more than enough to code for the 20 common amino acids. This redundancy allows the genetic code to be incredibly robust as multiple codons can specify the same amino acid. In this video, we've explored the world of DNA, its structure, how it replicates, transcribes, and how the genetic code guides protein synthesis. It's been quite a journey, hasn't it? We've delved into the molecular heart of life, 
uncovering the secrets held within the strands of our DNA. Understanding DNA is like unlocking the secrets of life itself. It's the blueprint that makes us who we are.